Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to the Discord Royals YouTube channel. Uh, me back and I'm sorry it's been a while since we uploaded. It's been a, a good few weeks since we did the uh, moderator video, the dino video. However, today we're here with a Mi 6 uh, full setup and my guide tutorial. Uh, after this plan to do a similar video to that moderator video. But without further ado, not going to waste any more time. Going to go straight into it. On the music sign page here, you can either log in, add to Discord, either one really does the same. It will give you an authorization window. May ask you to log in if you if you haven't uh, cached it or whatnot. Then you simply just need to choose which server you want to add it to. Click continue. It will ask for all these perms. Same with Dino. I personally recommend giving it admin just because it will generally be a high role anyway. And you'll want it if you're going to use uh, music for moderation so you've added it you should see uh, all of your you know stuff here yeah and you know if you see whatever server you added it to pop here uh that's all good so in terms of music i'm going to show you a few things really that you can do and you're cool there's kind of uh these are called kind of plugins is what they've called them kind of different uh Things you can do within Mi 6, you can enable and disable as you want or wish. The welcome plugin simply will send a message. You can make it a little, a little nice little card. You can make a, you know, a channel, a custom message, whatnot. Uh, you can also make it so they get a role when they join, a member role. It's what a lot of people do. Haven't made any roles in this server yet, so none will appear. Uh, when somebody leaves, you could also say they left. Personally, I don't think it's a good thing. I just think it's a waste of space and generally is only used by people that actually care uh, a little bit too much about their numbers. New role would be nice. Uh, if you've got rules, uh, like a rule welcome type of uh, system set up, you know, when users join need to accept your rules, then this setting here will be delayed until they accept the rules, meaning that if they join, if this isn't turned on, when they join, they'll get their member role anyway. Then they'll bypass the whole member screening and accepting the rules. It's turned on. They need to accept the rules first, be an actual member. Then the role is given to them. It gives you an added extra of uh, security against bots and whatnot. This here simply will send a private DM to people instead of uh, a text channel. Or it can do both. It's kind of how, however you want to set that up and run it or you can straight disable it if you don't want any of these options custom commands you know kind of self-explanatory you want a custom command you know whatever um well in here this here is kind of uh, your permissions of the command which roles are allowed to use them maybe you want to deny a certain role then that can go in these boxes here depending on if you want them to be allowed or denied by a certain role this here is a banned channel maybe you don't want the roles to be used in a certain channel that goes here cooldown would be a uh, cooldown on how long you want the command to be used you know maybe you only want it to be used once every five seconds whatnot do you get the gist the leak command usage will simply Delete the command, the activation command, and this won't reply. Simple. Again, you can disable them if you don't want them. Embeds. Embed is simply just a nice little message uh, type of thing. This is just funny little commands. Urban, Urban Dictionary, Manga, Images, Twitch. You get the idea. People don't generally use this record and help. This you can record it and save it as an mp3 kind of stupid moderator i generally don't use me six moderation but you can so in here you put any moderator role that you want to be able to use these commands if you want a log channel log channel will go here and then you can simply choose what you want to be logged obviously uncheck means it's not logging check means it will log this here is a premium one so any of these three will be a premium feature Again, you get the idea. Log or don't log. Ignore channels. 
will mean that anything that happens in a certain channel that you've selected won't be logged. So by selecting admin channel, it won't log the admin channels. Do you get the idea? These are auto moderator, so you can put delete, warn, delete and warn. You can check certain channels, roles, a list of bad words. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Automated actions. That says you can auto mute, kick, ban. Meaning that if they uh, kind of do one of these things too many times, they can get, you know, auto muted, auto kicked, auto banned, temp muted, whatnot. Again, uh, this here isn't really used either. And these are the moderation commands which you can either deny or enable at your own at your own peril. Depending on your use case scenario, of course. Timers, basically every 10 minutes, every whatever you set up, a certain message can be sent, depending on what you want. People I can I can see people using this perhaps for a Twitch stream. Uh, or a Twitch, win a Twitch, Twitch link, a uh, YouTube link, stuff like that, perhaps. Maybe in more kind of Twitch, YouTube communities. Personally, don't really see used to it. Depends on your use case scenario again. Now, in terms of these four, they are premium, but I'll go over them slightly. Won't, probably likely won't let me go into them. Essentially, you connect your socials and you select the channel that you want it to go to and you can basically modify the message, meaning that for Twitch, when you go live, your Twitch gets uh, posted. When you tweet, tweet gets posted. When you upload a video, it gets posted. You get the gist. Uh, music, there is a... Lol. Uh, there is a music function to me six, again, Personally, I don't use it just because I feel like there are better bots out there that are suited directly for music bots. This one, personally, for me, is not the one. But again, if you wish to use it, very simple. You can simply deny and allow the commands as you wish. You can click on them to, you know, check out the permissions. Maybe you don't want a certain role to, to be used or to not be used, a certain channel. You can, set a come up, you can set a cooldown. Kind of simple with the commands. And uh, kind of a little playing thing we'll show here. You can skip it directly from here. You can also add, uh, you can also add and view the queue here. Kind of simple. Again, it could be quite self-explanatory. These aren't really too used, but I guess I'll go over them. I never actually looked at this before, but guess it should be I guess it's not wanting to do it anyway I'll go over levels first then levels are basically is a XP system that each message that a person sends they'll receive a certain amount of XP for uh, depending on if you got premium or not you can change that this level up announcement most people put in the current channel I personally hate this so much I always go custom channel I make a level channel have it stick in that level channel because otherwise your general chat gets clogged up with X user has leveled up. This this user has leveled up. This user has leveled up. And it gets so annoying for admins and just users in general to look at personally. So this here basically uh, will be role, roles that you want to reward to users. Obviously I don't have any roles. But if you did you would select them. Click add. And then you can either remove or stack. If you remove previous rewards, means that say you've got a level a level five reward and a level 10 reward. If if you have stack, when a user gets to level 10, they'll keep the level five and the level 10 role. If you remove it, then the level five role will, will get removed and they will keep the level 10. Server card is essentially the uh, card they see when they do the uh, level command. Not sure, QDs aren't loading. Not sure if there's an error on the site or whatnot, but it's basically just a card displaying the user, uh, similar to on the button. Lol. Very similar to this. 
Um, XP rate is a premium one, but if you have premium, you can essentially change the XP rate of each message. You can opt to not give extra XP to me, me six pro. Never heard of me six pro, but okay. <laughs> no XP roll, be a roll that you don't want to have XP. Maybe you've got a naughty roll or a timeout roll, but they can still talk, but you don't want them to get a roll. Uh, maybe bot roll, maybe admins, etc. etc. Get the idea. No XP channel, maybe you've got a spam channel, but you don't want them to uh, get any XP from it. This is where that will go. Commands again, you can customize them with firms, disable, enable as you wish. I have gone a bit speedy, hopefully. Um, Hopefully you should be able to have understood what I've been saying, I would hope. But that is really the fundamentals to Mi 6. It's a really simple bot, it's really helpful, and it just works. It's not complicated, nothing like that. Um, but yeah, that's it for me today. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure you guys slap the video like button, make sure you guys comment down below what you thought of it. Make sure I subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.